we have a new one today! I have no idea when this is going to be released. I'm doing these pretty much as, uh, well, house builds and, and things like that as, a uh, oh, blah, a backlog of videos for when I move. Uh, I do plan on moving. Um, actually, fairly soon, if the job opportunity I am currently looking into uh, takes root. And if that is the case, I am definitely going to have... Well, I'm going to need like a month <laughs> um, to, to just uh, gather myself, gather my things, pack everything, because um, I'll be renting it. Not a U-Haul, but... Um, well, U-Haul makes them, and so does the Pods Company. Uh, basically, it's a big um, storage unit that you can throw all your stuff in and they will come pick it up and take it wherever you want it whether it be long-term storage short-term storage to a new location and i tried here to make a steeple for a church and it just didn't it, it, it just it didn't <laughs> i know i'm addying out here um but uh yeah this was going along with my idea and I came up with this around the same time I did the upcycled silo starter which tells you how long I've been kind of sitting on this video I'm sorry you know I work 70 hour weeks it's been a while um, <laughs> but uh, at any rate this one I, I was kind of just driving home and looking at a lot of old buildings on my my route home when it was safe to do so and not slam into the car in front of me which I figured they'd appreciate. You know, so do I. Um, <laughs> no one likes to be hit. <laughs> but um, I wanted to do something different, and I love old churches, and I love the old architecture, which I couldn't get too closely here, unfortunately. Um, it just, The Sims 4 doesn't allow it yet. But, um, and I don't want to do custom content either, it's just, just not my thing. But, um, I got pretty close, I think, with this. A lot of the stuff from Windenburg, um, helped with that. Um, it's glitching a little bit for me. I'm hoping it's not going to be so jumpy in that spot for you. Um, I'm hoping it's just my computer and the recording trying to catch up with each other. It's starting to smooth out very, very slowly here. Um, or not. It's, it's really skipping. Wow. Whoops. Ooh. Oh, I hope everything will be okay. I hope it goes smoothly for you guys, because that would make me really super sad if it uh, didn't. Okay, now it's now it's good. Okay, it was just that first like two minutes. That was weird. All right, but um, for me, renovating a church into to something new and usable is a great thing. And I, I'm a very spiritual person. You know, I believe in God. I am Christian. Whether or not you uh, you agree is um, you know entirely up to you, and I'm not going to bash you one way or another. Um, I just ask that everyone be respectful in the comments, um, of each other's views. I don't care what you say about mine, but be, be respectful of each other. <laughs> I care about my audience more than me. Yeah, I know, it's sad. <laughs> Regardless, uh, for me, ooh, 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 hit the, I just hit my microphone. Yeah, this is all raw. I, I do all of this sort of stream of consciousness, which may or may not be a good thing, but I hate starting and stopping my recordings for things like this because it's so hard to get the timing right. Anyway. Uh, for me, for doing anything with a church or spiritual building, whether it be a synagogue or a mosque, it is to me disrespectful to turn them in to turn a house of worship into a home. Um, I just it doesn't sit well with me. Being a, a spiritual person, I chose instead to turn it into a community building uh, and a place of learning. Um, so for me, turning this into a, a library with um, a nice outdoor space where kids can play, sort of a playground, library, learning center thing. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with that grill. But um, I threw some grills out, you know, some nice big benches, a uh, little bit of landscaping here and there. I wasn't sure what I was doing with a potted plant, but eh, I figured why not. Um, yeah, I have the monkey bars and things. That's just a place for, for Sims to go and, and have a lot of fun. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, I wanted the spaceship. Because it's a perfect spot for it right there. I mean, is it not? It's perfect. I think it's perfect. Therefore, it stays. Um, flooring I had a fun time with. The Some of the floors here in The Sims 4 have a tendency to be really shiny. To the point of... Ugh, they look lacquered and completely and utterly fake. I mean, I know this is a virtual dollhouse, but still, whew, 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 whew. 
Um, I had a fun time finding desks for this. In fact, yeah, I went with the original. I kind of wanted to go with the, the idea that things were donated rather than purchased for this place. Um, and I thought that was pretty neat, um, you know, to be honest. I was just having fun with the uh, the notion. Uh, yeah, you can apparently just... Yeah, I, I had fun. Uh, I made little privacy areas with the desks, and that's a little something I actually took from The Sims 3. I don't remember what libraries have it in The Sims 3, but there are a couple of libraries that do that with the... Um, and I actually want to say Bridgeport is among them, but I'm not certain. I'd have to actually look into that. But yeah, it's like it's all donated things. Um, I wanted, I thought about mismatching the computers, um, but I really like computers, and I wanted to make sure these look good. <laughs> um, yeah, just a whole bunch of different furniture. I went with a bunch of different colors. Again, it, as if it was donated. Like, people just went, oh, they're turning the old church on, you know, that road over there into a community center. I've got some extra chairs. Here you go. You know, things like that. Um, like the community came together to, to give the old building new life and new purpose. Uh, it, it's just me, and, and I know I'm really... I, I love those chairs, too, but, um... Uh, I know I'm being really weird <laughs> with this, uh, with this especially. Um, but I just, I just had fun. You know, to be honest, I just had a lot of fun with this particular build. Um... And, and trying to get everything sorted. Like I said, I have no idea when you guys are going to see this. It's going to go up on my channel. It's just going to kind of sit there for a little while. Um, my hope is to use is to have a whole bunch of build videos and maybe an update video set aside for what when I move. Now I just got wind of a job opportunity in the area I'm looking for in Tennessee, and um, I I applied for the I have a friend who works for the company that is hiring currently. And I sent them my resume and explained that I'm, I would apply for all available openings in this area. In the area I'm looking into. And I'm not going into specifics because I don't want to give away too much about where I'm moving to. I'm a little paranoid like that. I just, I don't want uh, too much of my, my movements being known. Um, not that I don't, that I think someone's going to like, you know, stalk me or anything like that, but you never know. You never know. And I've dealt with a stalker in the past um, in college, and I'm not up for that shit again. <laughs> no offense to my fans, and I think you guys are awesome, and I don't think anybody here will do that. I still don't want to take any risks or chances just because. Um, I really love the idea I had with the paintings there, and I think I went and did buy the book for, for more. Yeah, for more uh, artwork and things. That's something that I think is seriously lacking in The Sims 4, is, is the artwork and such, but it's still a fairly new game, and um, I I like the gameplay so far, I like the build so far, like how to build, and stuff like that, so I'm thinking with time that uh, it will improve, and I don't know where I was going with that plant. I, I like the plants in this game, actually. <laughs> I really do. I like the things you can do with the game. Um, to be honest, it's, it's getting up there for me. Um, with with decor and <clears throat> oh pardon ooh <clears throat> okay yeah I'm, not, I'm still not cutting that out I love you guys to death but this is entirely raw I just you know, didn't want to like burp in anyone's ear or anything like that but uh, regardless I don't know what I was thinking of the placement of this plant this this next plant and you'll see it in a moment I go okay in the corner no in the other corner oh it's in front of the door oh thanks move objects <laughs> whoops <laughs> Um, I don't know how this would have been church-wise. It's almost like a little one-room schoolhouse. Um, I, I sort of feel like <laughs> they had to do some serious renovation just to, to get it this way. But, you know, it's cool. I like it. I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out. Um, I, I do love the way it looks. Uh, it's just sort of mismatched and and just all sorts of fun things. Let's see, We've got our, our easels here. Uh, some things get maneuvered around. I, I take a little time to step away in in a moment here, just to kind of, you know, regather my thoughts and and figure out what the rest I was gonna do with this. Uh, I love that little notion about using the little half walls there for kids stuff, um, and to set things against. So I think I've done it on all of those half walls that I have either a, a piece of furniture or something usable for the kids. And I love the lavender in this game. There's a lot I love about this game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's a lot of potential that I see here with The Sims 4. 
And I'm really hoping that they don't drop the ball on some things in this, like they did with Sims 3. Uh, which I still love that game as, as well. Um, but I am really looking forward to the rest of what they bring to the table here with The Sims 4. My voice is getting a little dry, I apologize. I, uh, I just did another build not too long ago. This one's fortunately under 12 minutes, or around? No, no, under 13 minutes. I don't have the exact timestamp on my uh, Sony Vegas here. Uh, yeah, I'm using Sony Vegas, uh, what is it, 13, 12, something? I don't know. Um, it was a gift. <laughs> and I'm just going to take it and run with it as is. Um, yeah, I like the idea of putting the little birdbath out there. I needed another spot for lighting. And, uh, because the game actually, even in the dead of night, is not super, super dark. Uh, which is really nice. But I wanted to put another plant out there, the, another light. And I like the little lights that look like flowers. Yeah, you see, I j just skipped ahead there. I hope it didn't jump badly for you guys. It jumped badly for me. Uh, which, again, is a saddening, saddening thing. Just doing my terrain paint. Um, every every build you do, when you when you finish it off with the, the landscaping and the terrain paint, it really, really makes it uh, more polished, more refined. And that's that's something I'm learning from watching other YouTubers, uh, people like Deligracy and The Sims Supply, when they do their builds. Um, yeah, I found that on an angle those don't turn, which made me kind of sad. Uh, but you can do the round ones, and everything looks fine, except that looked weird to me. So I, I believe I go back and yeah, I undo it. <laughs> and use a smaller one, and kind of hope for the best. But it was just, yeah, it was getting on my nerves that it didn't look quite right. And um, I don't remember who did the edging with flowers, with the flower paint, but I really like it. And I like using it underneath um, other plants to, to, make the, uh, to make it look a little fuller. And we're going to be popping into screenshots soon here. Uh, I did realize here that I did not do anything with the back room that I made, which I would have assumed to be like the, the preacher's office and a bathroom, maybe. Um, like I said, this would have been a very small, uh, quaint little little church. Um, and here we are at our screenshots. I'm actually going to zoom in here just a touch so I can see where we're going here. Yeah, this is this was a lot of fun to do. I, I really enjoyed it. And you can see already, because I had to go in-game to get these screenshots, that there's already people here. They're using it. It's great. I do have this up on the gallery. Um, in the description below will be my uh, Sims 3 ID. It is... Um, I believe Kellebros87, C-E-L-E-B-R-O-S-87. Um, that's an old name of mine that I've been using for years. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!